Well, g'day and welcome back. Now that we are back from our journeys up north, there's a few things we've got to get into today. First of which is a little bit of a housekeeping thing, as we sometimes do. Now, previously we spoke about uh, building and setting up a set of stairs to go to upstairs here. Now, again, with me wanting to future-proof as I always do, I want to start to get an actual um, proper storage center going up so that I can sort of come in here and go to a big bank of storage at the back there. I may or may not move that uh, cane basket and that chest that are there because I want to try and leave as much original stuff here as I can because I like it. You would have seen obviously a few times that I haven't sort of activated those law pieces because I kind of like them. But what I want to do to actually enable more space now is to, and now that we've got the uh, shroud cores as well, I'm just going to quickly upgrade this altar. So what I'll do in my offline time again is I'll actually set up and now that we've got an increase in our building, which will go down to into the shroud there. I'll set up just in here, right here in front of me here, a set of stairs that'll come up and I'll slightly increase this building. So what I've done, um, we've been covering in bits and bobs here and there is I've now gone through and done a little bit more detailing on the outside of the building here. We've um, started on a couple of the pillars. I've yet to do the roof because I've been spending a lot of time on the front here so we've now done both of those two pylons here and I'll work out a few little more detailing bits and bobs here and there we've repaired pretty much all of the walls here we've just got to go through and uh, finalize some detailing on them in terms of the inside I've gone through and done pretty much most of the roof now I've done from the entry all the way through to just here above my head where that uh, grapple point is and we've just got to finalize and fix the back and what I mean with that is as we mentioned earlier all of the current building is still sort of built you know 10 15 20 blocks deep and it's wasting a lot of space which we could otherwise use for other things later on so i can still at some stage later on delete what's underneath me here in terms of these blocks and make a walk through to some sort of little uh you know doorway or something here i uh, could make a window on the front you know i just want to have a little bit of flexibility to do things later on and that roof where it is right there will probably pretty much stay where it is. I've got to delete that wall in front of me there. Uh, but you get the general gist of what's going on. So we've done quite a bit out here. It looks like not much, but I can tell you what, it's a hell of a lot. Uh, a lot of these walls and pylons out coming out to the outer of the building were completely destroyed. So we've had to rebuild a lot of them. And I haven't even done any of the... Um, little outcrops of the roofing there at all yet either but what I have done and sort of messed around with is decided that on the outside here we'll have a little doorway like that and I want it shaped like that so in terms of rebuilding we haven't really done too much out of the ordinary and too much crazy we've sort of tried to stay as much as we possibly could with what was there so I didn't want to kind of, you know, rewrite everything in terms of that. So that was pretty much it with what I wanted to do with that. And what we'll do before we get going and talk about all the rest of what needs to be get done with the builders is we will, I'll go offline and start to get this storage space here all up and running. And I'll work out how I'm going to make an entry point for the stairs to come upstairs and what we're going to do in terms of the storage that'll be one of the missions I'll probably do that uh, and finalize it and work on it 
over the next sort of couple of episodes but we will be doing other things as well and not just that also i've got one really quick check-in as well and i only just remembered this and I, I've been banging on about it for the last few episodes now, and I've completely forgotten. I cannot believe that I've completely forgot about this. I was uh, musing and have been musing about finding goo. And one of the things I completely forgot, and the mechanic here even tells you, you can see there's an exclamation mark, as in craft it. And you'll see what's happened now. Goo has suddenly appeared. You wouldn't read about it, would you? <laughs> and it's something I completely forgot about. I've been saying for the last few episodes, I cannot remember how we get goo. Because I couldn't. I just really couldn't remember. So that's a little bit crazy. And the reason that we actually want some of that, uh, we'll get to it in just a second. And this is one of the reasons why it's handy to keep a hold of uh, critter parts whenever you can. Now, just one more thing before we head off to our missions over up near the Pillars of Creation. We were thinking before, possibly we may actually not be able to get there through Glimmer Rock Mine. Just remembering myself um, from when I did the gate of the Pillars of Creation, it's actually a deadly shroud in there, and that is because of that shroud there, which is deadly shroud. And the only other possible way you can actually attempt to reach the trade outpost of Blazing Rock is to get there via the ancient spire of Low Meadowlands and try and make your way around through Southern Caravan Camp and then head northwards from there. The other thing you can do as well is make your way around the bottom. However, there's some deadly shroud down here, which we need to clear out at some stage so that we can get to this place here, Surat's Rest, which is gigantic. And there's a lot in there in terms of missions and whatnot that need to be actually ticked off. Uh, and also in lore pages and whatnot also. So I was thinking what we may actually do is strengthen the flame. Now, as we were discussing last time, I may lose my shroud downstairs in my base here. Not really sure whether that will happen, but it's necessary now for us to get to other parts of the map. So, we've got everything in place here now that we've got our fell wisp wyvern head and also now that we established that we did know how to make goo, we just forgot. All right, so now our flame level is increased. Now, have a quick look downstairs here. Oh, yeah, we've still got Shroud. Fantastic. Happy about that. Our Shroud may go away downstairs eventually. I'm not sure. May it may not. Don't know. But what we're really looking to do is, you'll see down here, you'll see now we can get all the way through Fox Chase now, and we can easily make our way out of, over to Surratt's Rest. So if we choose to go another way to head north to get to the trade outpost of Blazing Rock, we can actually do so uh, via this route here. It's it's a little bit easier to, to do that. I know it uh, may seem a little bit sort of weird to do so, but the Low Meadows fast travel... You can just sort of jump down into the middle of the shroud down here and you'll see sort of topographically, uh, as we discussed previously as well, the pillars of creation are huge. So you can't make your way up here. You can cheese your way up here, like you've got to climb up some big cliffs and whatnot to get up here. 
but the only real way to do it and you know sort of doing it without cheating which is i'm trying what i'm trying to do this game is sort of play the game without cheating is uh fly across from the ancient spire of low meadows sort of i guess we'll go via the elixir well along the way and then we can make our way up along here somewhere i can't remember exactly where it is i think it might even be here or something where you can make your way back up so that's the plan uh for the next little section